Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to try the um, dye that I picked up from Superdrug. So it does say to use it on a clean, dry hair. So my hair was washed, not last night, the night before. So it's not as clean as it could be, but it's not as dirty as it could be as well. And I didn't do anything with it. I just like blue dry it and then put it up which is why it looks like a bush. Um, so I've got my Donny Osmond t-shirt on. Went to see him in concert with my mum, it was part of our Christmas present, and he was absolutely fantastic. And I'm now a little bit in love with him. So I'm gonna crack on with this. So I'm just gonna whack on some gloves. All, it's, all it says is put it on clean dry hair. Um, with some protective gloves, leave on for between 10 and 30 minutes. Um, it does say that you can mix it with other colours and stuff like that and I think that if I don't use the whole bottle, uh, obviously it depends on yeah, how well it covers all of my hair, I might start adding it to my normal colour shampoo, depending. We'll see. So says to do a strong test but does anybody ever actually really do a strong test? Oh my god it smells amazing. It smells like cherries. really have sectioned me hair but <laughs> oh well oh, it really smells nice it reminds me of an old perfume from like back in the day not like you scaff from bullies I'm gonna end up with the patches looking hair <laughs> oh well I'm actually wondering whether this is like the Pixie Law dye. I don't know whether I actually included it in one of my vlogs um, when I did it. And it didn't really make any sort of difference to me hair. Um, whatever, we shall see. So, I'm going to leave this on for 30 minutes. So, I'm about to wash it off. Um, my hair and I thought I'd done so well at getting all the red off everywhere where it shouldn't be and then I noticed that I've completely missed this arm out like <sighs> oh well I'll try and scrub it off now right let's go and get this off and see whether or not it's made any difference try to get the colour off as best as possible on my scalp but it is literally bright orangey red which is beautiful but I'm just going to leave my hair in this towel for a little bit and then um, I will blow dry it and see what it looks like so it's a little bit later now, but Paul dragged me to the Asda as soon as he got in from work. So I still had wet hair, I was wearing my scruffs, so looking like a tramp. Um, my hair is practically dry now at the roots, it's just like the ends, so I'm gonna get a bit of, a, a dry, obviously. I actually don't think that that has made much difference to my hair, or I will wait and see what it actually looks like tomorrow in natural lighting because it's dark outside, well getting dark outside now. So I'll just try it and see tomorrow.
Um, I don't think I've washed it out as well as I should have and uh, my hair feels disgusting and greasy so I'm gonna have to wash my hair again um, in a bit oh so I'll show you what it's like tomorrow hey so it's the next day and I washed my hair again last night and I use my normal colour shampoo, um, you know, the colour effect shampoo with a little bit of the dye in it as well. And I don't know whether you can tell in this light, but there is a lot more of a red tone to it rather than like a, a ready ginger tone um, that I get from the, the shampoo, especially on the ends of my hair. Um, so I am actually quite pleased with it. It's probably not made a huge difference, but it is just that little subtle, little subtle something. Hair actually feels so, so soft and it's got an absolutely gorgeous shine. So I get quite a lot of shine from the, the Colour Effect shampoo, but not so much on the ends uh, because it's all dead. It all needs to, to be chopped off. Um, but with this, I feel like men's feel better and look shinier as well. So it might be something that I start doing maybe every every month, maybe once a month, something like that. Or when I feel like my hair needs a bit of a pick-me-up, I might do it then. Um, but yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. Bye!